Hi guys, this is Faraz and today I will be solving actual snap questions of quants. So in this video, we will be covering module 5 which is modern mathematics which entails probability and permutations and combinations. So guys, this is part 1 of the module 5. There are 6 questions in this video and all the questions are very important because these questions have appeared in snap previous papers. Also, these questions have a probability of appearing in snap exam this year as well so let us have a look at question number four we have a bag contains five white and three black balls and four are successively drawn out and not replaced what's the chance of getting different colors alternatively let us have a look at the options option a one upon six option b one upon five option c one upon four and the last option option d is one upon seven now guys, we have two types of balls in the bag that is 5 white and 3 black balls. 4 balls have to be drawn successively and without any replacement. This is a very important part here. Don't miss out or your answer will be wrong. I would again urge you to pause the video right here and try to solve this question on your own. It's a pretty simple question. Just calculate the probability successively for white and black and I'm sure you will be able to solve this particular question. At the same time, let me help you to solve this particular question. If you see over here, probability of getting alternate colors when the first ball is white. Now, I have two balls that is white and black. I have two types of balls. Now, it depends which one I select first. So, the first case is that I will be selecting white ball first. So, in white ball, I have five white balls and three black balls. So, total are eight. The total balls are eight. Therefore, the first probability of selecting a white ball will be 5 upon 8. Moving on, we have to select 4 balls are drawn successively, which means the second probability will be for black because the first one was white. Now, for second, total balls are 7 now because one is drawn and not replaced. How many black balls do we have? We have 3 and the total is 7 now. So, the second probability will be 3 upon 7. Now the ball has changed from 7 to 6 because it is not replaced and this will again correspond to white balls. How many white balls are there? Initially it was 5, now there are 4. So 4 upon 6 will be the next probability. Similarly, next will be for black. How many balls are left? Total balls remaining are 5. Initially there were 3 black balls. 1 is drawn, we have 2 now. So 2 upon 5. When I solve this entire expression, I get the value as 1 upon 14. Now this was my first case guys where my first ball drawn is white in color. Similarly, probability of getting alternating colors when the first ball drawn is black. Now this is the second case where first ball drawn is black in color. Now again, we have a total of 8 balls. There are 3 black balls, so 3 upon 8 will be the first probability. Now second one correspond to white. We have 7 balls left now. We have 5 white balls. Therefore, the probability will be 5 upon 7. Now, 6 balls are left. So, this will be 2 upon 6 because the remaining number of balls for black will be 2 now from 3. So, 2 upon 6. Next will correspond to white again. So, the number of total balls are 5. So, 5 will come over here. And white balls remaining are 4 because initially they were 5. Now, 1 has been drawn. So 1 is left, so 4 upon 5. When I calculate this entire expression, I get the value as 1 upon 14 again. Now the question says, what's the chance of getting different colors alternatively? That is, probability of getting balls of alternating color will be the sum of case 1 and case 2, that is 1 upon 14 plus 1 upon 14, which is equal to 1 upon 7. Hence, the correct answer will be option D, 1 upon 7. Moving on to the next question, question number 5, it says that a bag contains 100 tickets numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, so forth till 100. If a ticket is drawn out of it at random, what is the probability that the ticket drawn has the digit 2 appearing on it? Let us have a look at the options. Option A, 21 upon 100. Option B, 19 upon 100. Option C, 32 upon 100. And the last option, option D is 23 upon 100. 
Now guys, assume that there is a bag where 100 tickets are there and these tickets are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 100. Now how many tickets will have the digit 2 appearing on it? We know that the total outcome will be 100. We just need to find how many tickets will have the digit 2 appearing on it and you will be able to solve the question. So guys, these types of questions are very common and important from the SNAP exam point of view. These questions have come a lot many times in SNAP exam. Please try to pause the video right here and solve this question on your own. And at the same time, don't worry, I will be solving this question for you as well. Now this question means that probability of getting the number on card which has 2, that is between 1 and 100, there are 19 such numbers, that is 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. So these are the numbers and guys, these will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We know that there will be 10 numbers which will be from 2, 12, 22, so on so forth till 92. Now there will be another 9 numbers of this cadre where it will be 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29. Guys, in this number we will not include 22 because 22 has already been included here. This is the only mistake which a lot of students make so please be very careful when you solve such questions. So 22 will not come over here because it has been already included in this particular group. So there are two groups, this one and this particular one where 10 numbers are there in group 1 and 9 numbers are there in group 2. You need not write all these numbers in the real exam. I'm just writing this here so that I can explain you in a much comprehensive manner. Therefore, the favorable outcomes is 100 and the total outcomes are 19. Hence, the probability is equals to 19 upon 100. Therefore, the correct answer is option B, 19 upon 100. Let's move on to the last question of this video. Question number 6, we have Sonal and Meenal appear in an interview for same post having two vacancies. If 1 upon 7 is Sonal's probability of selection and 1 upon 5 is Meenal's probability of selection, then what is the probability that only one of them is selected? The options given to us are 1 upon 7, 2 upon 7, 3 upon 5 and the last option is option D, 1 upon 5. Now it's a very simple question. These types of questions are also very common in competition exam, especially from SNAP point of view. Again, I would request you to pause the video right here and try to solve this question on your own. It's a very simple question, but at the same time, let me help you to solve this question as well. Now from the question, it is given that the probability of Sonu's selection is 1 upon 7. So Sonu's probability of rejection will be 6 upon 7 because 1 minus 1 upon 7 will be 6 upon 7. Similarly, probability of Meenu's selection is 1 upon 5. It has been mentioned in the question over here. Alright, so the probability of rejection of Meenu selection will be what? 4 upon 5. Moving on, we have to find what is the probability that only one of them is selected. Now in order to calculate this, there will be two cases. The first one where Sonal is selected and Meenal is not. Second one where Sonal is rejected and Meenal is selected. So Sonal is selected that is 1 upon 7 into Meenal is rejected that is 4 upon 5 plus Sonal is rejected that is 6 upon 7 multiplied by Meenal is selected that is 1 upon 5. When I solve this particular expression I get the value as 10 upon 35. So guys there are two cases over here where Sonal is selected in the first one that means Meenal is not. Second one where Sonal is not selected because Meenal is selected. So both these cases will be considered and when I solve I get the value as 10 upon 35. Further solving this, I get 2 upon 7. Hence, the correct answer is option B. The probability that only one of them is selected is option B, 2 upon 7. This brings me to the end of the video. I hope you really like the session and the way we have solved each and every question. Modern math is a very important topic from SNAP point of view. Please make sure that you practice more questions like these. At the same time, make sure that you are timing yourself using a timer because it's very important because snap is a time game. Practice more mocks and finally all the best to you guys.